Hey everyone, welcome to FixMakeLearn. Today we have a 40 digit 3 desktop RAM. And the problem is when it's plugged into desktop, it does not post. So I did a visual inspection and found out this. A component, most probably a SMD capacitor, is ripped off from the board. As it looks, it should be the capacitor same as same as this one so as we don't have the component anymore i'm going to find a similar type of capacitor from a scrap mobile phone board this is a wrecked mobile phone board and we are going to find a capacitor of same size which can be placed in here the capacitor I found looks like perfect match, so let's take it out. I'm applying some plugs to the capacitor. I do not have a SMD workstation, so I am going to use my soldering iron for the entire process. I'll grab the capacitor with tweezer and start to melt the old dry flux. Let's set the capacitor each side first so it comes out easily. Ok so the capacitor is out, I will clean the old solder from the capacitor. And keep it aside, you can see here it is. We have our missing component now, so let's get back to the RAM. Let me set up my camera a little bit. Let's clean it up a little bit. I'll apply some flux to the solder pads. And retrain the pads with some fresh shoulder. Good, let's take the component, I'll clean the sides of the capacitor. The capacitor is getting stuck into my tweezer. Let me clean it. Okay, so let's solder one side first, 
and then we'll try do another side we have to apply more solder Let's apply some flux. I'm going to try to heat up both sides so that we can place the capacitor in place properly. Working with irons is time taking but we can do our job. So it's good. We have a solder bridge. Looks good. The component is now in its place. But I'll try to do the job as clean as possible. I'll try to give it a factory like finish. It's not important though to give it a factory like finish. It will work fine as it is now, but it will be more satisfactory if I place it properly as it was. looks good here is the final product we have little bit messier so it's time to clean the pcb to clean the flux i am going to use some isopropyl alcohol and i'll take some cotton um, i'm not going to use the brush as i can knock off any other component also i'm just taking some cotton soaked into isopropyl alcohol and i'll clean it Let's clean all the flux from here also. And it looks good. Now it's testing time. So here is the desktop RAM we have fixed. Now I'm going to install it into the computer and see if it works or not. Let's check together.
I have installed the memory. Let's power it up. Let's check the screen and we have the display. We have fixed the RAM. If you like my work, please make sure you leave a like. If you don't, please give a dislike. Subscribe the channel to stay tuned with all kind of project and review videos. See you on next one.